I shockingly loved what I've played. Like genuinely, like I thought I was going to enjoy this game. I didn't know I was going to love this game as I do right now. I, I, as far as, you know, that I've played, it's outstanding, man. And let me just say this. This is a huge deal for Sony, like, like your video stated earlier. This game just has this massive community behind it, like massive following. And the game lived up to the expectations. And that's even just so big. What a get for Sony on that, on the PS Plus service. I upgraded uh, last week when this launched. That's when I upgraded my tier. Dude, this game's like a huge Twitch game. It, it has that sort of vibe of like, you know, uh, community driven kind of Twitch watching other people play the game. I know there are people out there like, you know, one of my cousins is like obsessed with cats. I mean, I could only imagine what she would do if she was playing this game, but it really is it's very thoughtful in the way that it portrays a cat. Like it genuinely has well thought out sequences of how cats act. It's very weird. And this is part of the reason why I love indie games, man. We, this is unlike anything that I've ever played. It's, it really is. And it's kind of scratching an itch. Another pun. I hate to be that guy, but I guess we could say that's a pun. It is, I guess that's, you know, uh, but it's so good. It is so good, man. I really like this game. Let me say this. Were you taken aback? My my immediate impressions of this game was it was a little odd that it's not like a normal 3D platformer. I was trying to jump around everywhere by hitting X, but the only time you can jump is if like the X prompt is on there. Right. I, were you thrown off by that? I was thrown off at first, but I actually love it now, to be honest with you. Not really. For me, it did a really good job of explaining the parameters of, of the world and, and the game and sort of the perspective of this cat. And it, it made sense to me. I mean, I could see that coming from, a, you know, I don't know what else you were playing, but but coming from another platformer, 3D platformer, it might be a little jarring if you're playing anything else sort of similar, like, I don't know, Crash. For I, I know I talk about Crash all the time, but something like that, then yeah, maybe that would be a little jarring, but... I, I don't know. They I think they did such a nice job of easing you into this world. And, and, you know, this is just like we talked about Death Stranding and how a UPS delivery simulator seems so boring. A game where you play as a cat that is licking water off of the floor. Like, that doesn't sound fun, but it's... They did it. They really did. Like, let's give the developer credit here. They did a great job of... Uh, making a cat game more than palatable it is it's fun and it's intriguing and it and a lot of that is is the world that they that they put you in and i i can't remember where i heard this but it's but it's a very it's something that i've taken with me over the years you either have an extraordinary character in an ordinary situation or an ordinary character in an extraordinary situation and it sounds so like dumbed down but but it's it's so true it's like you can almost apply it to any piece of media you know it's it's uh so this so we so in this situation we have an ordinary character a cat in an extraordinary world this post-apocalyptic it, it's a it's a it's a beautiful world it really is kudos kudos to blue 12 they they uh they they really knocked it out of the park i can't wait to finish it if it's going where i think it's going and i've seen other gameplay of it i i wanted to make sure that i was you know sort of well versed on it before before we talked about it on the podcast I, it it's 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 going to be here to stay and and i think that this is a game that is a very big deal because this is what separates sony from microsoft right here this is it this is what separates playstation from xbox games like this that catapult sony into the you know, video gaming world in, in the way that Stray does, in the way that God of War does, in the way that Horizon does. And and I, I don't think Stray is as good of a... Well, it's really hard to, like, compare apples and oranges, but I don't think Stray is that caliber, but I'm just saying it's... it's it's a, I think it's a big deal that it's on their, their, their subscription service. I think it's a huge deal. Uh, do you have anything to say? And I, it, I don't want to get too much into that, but do you have anything to say on, on yeah. those, those thoughts? 
No, I, I agree. And I know I spoke about this being an indie game and, and how we get, you know, these different types of games with indies. It does have that Sony feel to it, this game. Like, it really does. It almost feels like a first party game. Like, it really does. It's so well made. It's beautiful. The lighting, the lighting in particular in this game is amazing, outstanding. It's almost like this cyberpunk sort of vibe to the city. And it's just such a well-made game and, you know, straightforward games, not this big, huge open world with all these different side quests. And there may be side quests down the line with Stray. I don't know uh, because I obviously haven't finished it, but I like this, man. It's a nice change of pace and it's just really refreshing to go to a game like this. It's I'm going to probably have it beaten by the end of tonight, to be honest with you. I genuinely can't wait to go back and play this game like that's a suit. That's exactly what I'm going to do tonight. Uh, probably put in another three hours. And at that point, I'm hopeful to beat it. And I love games like this. And I can't agree with you anymore that what a brilliant idea by Sony to put this on the tier on the subscription service. It is. I think it's even bigger than what we're touting it in terms of just the following to this game is so big. It's like really come out of nowhere and it's come out at a perfect time. What else is there right now to play on PlayStation 5 or at least recent releases? I'm trying to think. I know I'm I'm diving into Horizon Forbidden West. I'm kind of going through my back catalog, but really there's nothing out right now. So perfect timing. It's a perfect uh, marriage here, and I'm loving what I'm playing. I'm excited to give sort of final impressions next week when, when, when I'm sure we're going to kind of talk about what we're playing. I, I can't wait to play this again. I cannot recommend people enough to please upgrade your service and play this game. It is really, I can't recommend it enough.